نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل الاقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب زدنی علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین آمین انشاءاللہ today's topic will be good character good conduct and we gonna see the hadith and the ayahs of the Quran and first of all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for the you know beautiful character so لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةُ الْحَسَنَا and this is from Surah Al-Ahzab ayah number 21 indeed the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you have beautiful example so who is beautiful example? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Uswatul Hasanatun So beautiful character of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Let's move forward And here we'll see few example here Sending of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to mankind to teach them How to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And to refine their character and conduct akhlaq is a great favor and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam send. He was sent to, uh, towards us. Inna ma'bu'situ li utimma makarim al-aqlaq. Indeed, I have been sent to complete the best of the character. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself had an exemplary character and conduct akhlaq for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself bears witness. Isn't it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bearing witness like he, he has such a beautiful character. And Surah Al-Qalam, ayah number 3, وَإِنَّكَ لَأَلَى قُلْقٍ عَزِيمٍ And indeed you are, amma, you are upon the highest level of conduct. So, وَإِنَّكَ indeed, like no doubt, definitely. لَأَلَى قُلْقٍ Surely, لا is for surely here, definitely. Qulikil Azim, this is for surely, not definitely. For definitely, the uh, you know, Shadda will come. So, Lam with Fatha, it means surely, La Ala Qulukin Azim, highest level of the conduct. Who is on the highest level? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, when we say uh, Husne Akhlaq, so we have to remember that. Just visualize the character of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet ﷺ would always enjoin and urge the people to show good akhlaq and with regard to this manner of character building Hazrat Anas anhu, the brother of Abu Dar, Abu Dar radiallahu says, فَآيَاتُهُ يَأْمُرُ بِكَ مَا مِكَارَمِ الْأَقْلَاقِ مَكَارِمِ الْأَقْلَاقِ I saw the Prophet ﷺ, this is in Muslim, he would enjoin the people of good character. And be um, makarima uh, is from karim, you know, the best of the best, and the conduct. Conduct is akla. So, ra'aytuhu ya'muru bi makarimil akla. So, you know, it is the highest level of the character. So, we have to keep this thing in our mind about beautiful character. And today's chapter, we're going to just focus on the beautiful character regarding the ayahs and the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So, here, husne akla, and this is about good character. Hasinun, husna, husna, and ahsan, uh, it means beautiful. Very nice, beautiful, and quluk means qalam qaf means character. So it means a beautiful character. And as I mentioned before, Surah Al Qalam, ayah number four, wa inna kalla ala qulqin azim. Allah the exalted says, and verily you, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, are on an exalted standard of character, best of the best. It's like a superlative degree. And let's move to the next ayah. Surah Al-Ali Imran, Ayah number 159. فَبِمَا رَحْمَةً مِنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَزَّنْ قَلِيزَ الْقَلْبٍ فَدُّوْ مِنْ حَوْلِكْ Allah the Exalted says, and, I, and by the mercy of Allah you dealt with them gently. And had you been severe and harsh-hearted, they would have broken away from about you. So let's try to understand this in a deeper way. Here, فَبِمَا رَحْمَةً مِنَ اللَّهِ 
So he is the Allah exalted say by the mercy of Allah you dealt with them gentleness. See this wordings for bima rahmata min Allahi linta lahum. Linta is very tenderness, very nicely. And this is min Allahi. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lahum walau kunta fazdan qaliza. Here Allah says and had you been severe. Like you know if you had been severe and harsh hearted. See the wordings of the Quran. Walau kunta fazdan qaliza al-qalbin faddu. Min hawlik. So if you have been harsh severe harsh hearted they would have broken away from about you I mean how like you know gone away but he wasn't so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing the mercy of Allah it's by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is tender hearted nice very nice behavior very beautiful character so uh, somebody would ask uh, Aisha Raziyallahu, what was the character of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? She would say he was like a Quran, beautiful character, like a Quran. And um, in uh, you know Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was praised so many times in the Quran about his character, not only in Surah Al Qalam and now we have seen in Surah Al Ali Imran, uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always dealt people with tenderness you know if somebody would ask something he would never say no he would give them immediately or he would promise them if he don't have he gonna ask somebody and he would give them but he will never return them empty-handed no matter what whether he has little or more he his heart was such a big heart people and about tenderness you remember when you read the seerah of rasulullah sallallahu jibreel amin came then he was a child he was a boy he was living with the uh, hali masadia and there jibreel amin came and did the open heart surgery what do you mean by open heart surgery you know he opened the heart he opened the chest took out the heart and washed in the zamzam, remove all the impurities and put it back. Isn't it an open heart surgery? Yes, it is. And um, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has only the good part. He don't have any bad part, you know. And before the prophethood also, he was very nice and tender hearted. People used to call him Sadiq and Amin. And he's a beautiful model for us. And we don't need anyone else, isn't it? Even like uh, non-Muslim people, uh, in one of the book, uh, it was uh, he was the uh, he was placed in the first one of the most recognized and beautiful character person. So I'm just not um, comparing with it because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said he is the best of the best. But uh, some of the youngsters they keep on asking things so just to uh, you know tell them. But whatever Quran has mentioned, we shouldn't compare it with anything, believe me. Because we believe in Ghaib 1400 years ago, Allah mentioned that, that's it, that's enough for us. So let's move to the Hadith. First Hadith is from Rawahul Bukhari. And first I'm going to read the translation, then I'm going to explain a little bit in the Arabic. And please, my request for all the students online and the live, Please try to memorize the hadith also. And before, in the olden time, people used to be called hafiz when they memorize hadith too. So we should also try to memorize hadith also. We all try to memorize Quranic ayat, isn't it? Some of, some people they know Surah Al-Baqarah, al Imran. Some of them did 38 Jews and so so on and so forth. So why don't we do the small hadith too? Just make a niyyah, inshallah, Allah will make it easy for you. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Indeed, I was sent to complete the best of the character. Let's read the uh, Arabic text. And Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qala, inna ma'bu'asitu al-utim salih al-aqlaq. Indeed, I was sent to complete the best of the character. That is Salihul Aqla. So we have to be 
uh, you have to keep that thing in our mind. We have to do salihul aqla. So if you could just memorize this much only, you know, the rest of the part is an abhi horera radiyala. You have to re remember that thing. But the rest of the main hadith is innama ba'asitu utimma salihul aqla. Only four words. If you can do it, inshallah, that would be nice. Now let's move to the next hadith, please. And here the next one is Anas bin Malik radiallahu anhu narrated Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the best in the character among the people. And what are the wordings of the hadith? An Anas bin Malik qal qal kana rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam ahsan al-nasi quluqan only three words. Just repeat after me ahsan al-nasi quluqan this is in Rabahul Muslim. So Anas bin Malik radiallahu narrated the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the best in character among the people. Anas, it's not like you know, just for the Muslims. It is for the whole mankind, and he was not husn. It was ahsan, superlative degree. You know, if you know Arabic a little bit, you will understand what is the superlative degree. So here, not ahsan, it is ahsan. Ahsanun nasi kolukan, best of the best character. Let's move to the next uh, hadith that is from Rabahu Abu Dawood. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, The most complete of the believers in Iman are those who are best in character. And Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam akmalul mu'minin akmalu it's from kamil that you know complete if you know urdu you can easily understand the arabic text akmalu is from kamil complete al mu'minin the mu'minin those who are believers imanan ahsanuhum al quluq they have the iman and ahsanum quluq iman faith are those who are in best in the character the most complete of the believers in iman faith are those who are best in character. So what are the prerequisite here? See the wordings of the hadith. Akhmalul mu'mini. The complete mu'min. Like you know who is a believer. Imanan. He has the iman. But what is the rest of the thing? Ahsanumul quluq. He should have the best of the character. So just praying and you know doing nawafil, reading the Quran, doing the dua, sadaqa, everything. What about your mamalat? What about with your, you know, kulu? Are you good to the people? Or are you the harsh-hearted? Or you are, you are breaking the hearts of the people? You know, don't do that. Please. Because ahsanumul quluq. Iman are those who are, so here, complete of the believers in Iman is who? Who are best in character. Do you want, like, you know, I can give you the example. Like, you are, you, you are about to download something. Okay, it's almost like 90% and you stopped it. Does it download completely? No, isn't it? You understand that, right? The same way your character is incomplete. It says it is incomplete of the believers. When you are the best of the character, then only you are complete. So isn't it you want the best of the best? Yes, we all do want the best of the best. So do that. Akmalul mu'minina imanan ahsanuhumul quluqan. Let's move to the next hadith. Before that, I want to teach you one dua. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you should recite this dua. Yes, I know most of them know this dua. Allahumma kama hassan taqalqi wa hassin quluqi. Can you repeat after me, please? Allahumma kama hassan taqalqi wa hassin quluqi. Allahumma, oh Allah, kama hassan taqalqi. Just you like, make me qalqi wa hassin quluqi. How you make me beautiful, my face. Make my character beautiful, very nice, awesome character. So make this dua whenever you are looking yourself in the mirror. Don't we like our face? Yes, we do. If you are complaining, it means you are doing, you know, you are not thankful to Allah. In shakartum la azidanakum. Don't, you know, do kufr. This is a kufran inema. 
be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has given you such a beautiful face. Don't say like, you know, this color, that color, this, uh, this nose is good, that. No. How Allah made you, made you very pretty. Now, what is our uh, role to do? We have to beautify our character. Allah has given the face and everything. If somebody is beautiful, are you going to feel jealous about them? No, you don't. Because that's the gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I believe we all are beautiful. Doesn't matter what color, what race, what background, doesn't matter. We all are beautiful. Allah has given our sound healthy. And above all, Allah has given beautiful iman, tawheed. That is the thing. Look at yourself and be thankful. Don't complain. Oh, why I'm like this or like that. That's not the thankfulness. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that time you're going to recite this dua. Allahumma kama hassan taqalti wa hassin quluqi. Let's move further to, uh, to the next uh, hadith. Here this is Rawahu Tirmizi. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu narrated, I heard Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, nothing will be placed in the balance heavier than good conduct or good character. And a person with good conduct will attain the rank of the ones who fast and praise. The good character will attain those who fast and the pray. Let's see the wordings. An Abi Darda qala sammaitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakulu, he said, ma min shayin yu'da'u what is, you know, I heard Allah's Messenger وسلم, saying, nothing will be placed in balance heavier than a good conduct. See the wording? Fi mizan. Mizan means balance. Askhala is from sakhal, heavier, min husnil qulu. The best of the best, like, you know, when you place on the balance, it will become heavier. What will become heavier? Heavier the balance. When you place the husnul qulu, good character. You know, when you place that and it will be as if like a fasting person and those who pray. Is it easy fasting or uh, praying? No, isn't it? You have to do wudu, then you have to do the uh, salah, especially when you are at work or when you are at school or college. That time you feel it. At home, it's very easy. You know, you have to take out the time. You have to look for the corner. You have to ask before, oh, it's, uh, certain room I can use and certain place I can use for the prayer. And you have to take care of your garment. You know, it should be completely covered the way it should be. Especially, I'm talking about the women for the satar and for the head covering and also the satar when they are praying. These are the prerequisites you have to do. But when we are talking about good character, when you do good character, when you want to put checkpoint on you, you have to try hard, isn't it? You know, some people, they have the... Um, uh, things of uh, using the bad language or saying bad words or they are getting carried away they, they yell or they shout because they get angry and upset very soon and because of that they carried away so they have to overcome that so you have to work hard first of all make dua first and foremost and make niya i want good character so that it will be measured in mizan in the uh, hereafter and in this world also you will be benefited for that you will have the beneficial things you know you have seen some non-muslims you know people keep on asking oh sister no, she is doing good and he is doing good yes but you have to do iman and amal saleh they are doing good but what about the iman they don't have the iman we have iman so why don't you use that opportunity and avail that because we all want to go to Jannah, yes. So this will be comparing with as if you are fasting or as if you are praying. So why don't you avail that opportunity, use it and uh, recognize in that category. Let's move to the next hadith, inshallah. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated, Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, two characteristics are not found together in a hypocrite. This we are talking about opposite. Till now we were talking what we should have. This is like what we shouldn't have. It's like a big red sign. We shouldn't have this thing. Okay. Check yourself. Two characteristics are not found together in a hypocrite. Pleasant personality and understanding of the theme. 
these two things are not there in the hypocrite person we have to check ourselves what is the wordings of the hadith and abi huraira radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qaslatan la tajtama'ani qaslatan it's a dual talking about two qaslatan these two things fi munafiqin in the hypocrite these two, two things are not found la not found okay husnul samtin wal fiqhul fiddin don't have what found together in a hypocrite pleasant personality you know husnul samtin it's not there and also the fiqhul fiddin understanding of the deen but you know don't start uh, giving fatwa to the people oh she is a hypocrite he is a hypocrite because they don't understand deen or uh, she don't have the pleasant attitude please don't do that we are not supposed to say that first check ourselves amend our things ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beg allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are learning quran and hadith for ourselves because we will be answerable to our own self not about the others i am responsible for myself okay let's move to the next hadith this is in sunan an tirmizi let's see the translation then i'm going to explain abu dar radiyallahu anhu narrated allah's messenger said to me fear allah what he said rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fear allah wherever you are wherever you are you have to fear allah and follow a bad deed with a good deed you know you have you happen to have by accident something bad you were bad to somebody you were mean to somebody but what we have what is the solution given by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam with a good deed even in uh, quran it says you know if you have done bad replace it with the good do good and uh, in ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum if you do good you do good for yourself so here inna ma hasana yuzhibu sayyat if you do good it will replace all the sayyat all the bad will be removed do good bad will be removed a good deed it will be wiped out and behave with people with good conduct let's see the wordings of the hadith and abi zar qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ittaqalla fear allah first hukum is what is ittaqalla we all should fear allah hay suma kunta wherever you are doesn't matter whether you're traveling you're at home you're at palace doesn't matter hay suma kuntum wherever you are wattabi'i sayyat al hasanat tamhuha wa qaliq al nas bi khuluq hasan and the next thing is follow a bad deed with a good deed you know something a sayyat happen replaced with hasana we all do sayyat we do bad sometimes we are mean sometimes we are bad accidentally we we don't mean to but it happens but do hasanat tamhuha وقالك الناس بخلق حسن wipe it out and behave with people with good conduct you know what it says بقالك الناس بخلق حسن الناس it doesn't says only muslim no you have to be good to everyone whether you are going somewhere whether you are traveling whether you are going to school college doesn't matter even for the non muslim our neighbors everywhere do good be good so overall what what we learn this is the chapter today we ended what we learn the overall yes be good and it will be measured in the mizan and that will be you are given the marks for it why don't we achieve that marks why don't we get that 100% 100 out of 100 not only in this world in the hereafter and who is our role model yes rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is our role model qulqan azim and we have seen the ayahs of the quran and we have seen the hadith and it is the comparison with those who do salah and those who do saum we will get that equivalent ajr why don't we avail that why don't we use that and for that we have learn learn one dua today allahumma kama hassan taqalti wa hassin quluqi and when we going to recite this dua yes 
when we see ourselves in the mirror. Jazakallah khairan kaseera, subhanakallahumma bihamdika, nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta, nasfaghfiruka, wa natubilaik, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi, wa barakatuh.